How's everybody doing? Hey Doris, how's it going? How's the stream look, first of all? Hey Mel, what's going on? So this is my very first time streaming, so. Yep, yeah, that's a song. I could turn it down, is it too loud for you guys? Hey Dina, how's it going? Yep. Okay, so mainly this video is just gonna be for, I'm just doing a practice. Yeah, there's a, oh, there is a long lag, okay. Thank you, Doris, for that. Um, so this is just gonna be a practice uh, flip cup. I've been having a lot of issues with the camera up top. So I'm trying to work those kinks out of it right now before the live stream with Doris on Thursday at 6.30 Central Standard Time. So you guys should definitely go check that out. So what we're gonna be doing today is a flip cup. We're gonna be using um, Deep Red Artist Loft. We're gonna be using Turquoise by Artist Loft, Cerulean Blue. We're gonna be using Thalo Blue also. Oh, they're all upside down. There you go, guys. And then of course, because I'm absolutely addicted to metallics, we're gonna be using this Chroma um, Dorado Gold. Yeah, hopefully the, hopefully the camera's gonna stay good, Doris. All right, and because so many people commented, thank you guys for reminding me, I have this and I've already strained my flow troll because nobody likes that stuff. All right, so we'll get to mixing the paints. I always have this problem with using way too much paints for my pores. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll work out. Works better if you take the plastic cap off the top. So how's everybody's Monday going? Oh, did it freeze for a second? Hmm. I'm trying to figure out why I would be doing that. I love this Dorado gold color. It just makes me happy. With the metallics. So I'm just using the same mix I normally use with the two to one Floetrol to paint mix. And then we'll get to mixing it up, pour it out on the canvas and see what we get. I'll be also using the uh, hair serum that I typically use. On my Facebook group, a lot of people are having a problem with it for some reason. I think their paints are either too thin or they're using way too much. You only need a little bit, a couple drops does it. it all goes a long way. Yeah, Doris, that might be my, that might just be my, uh, my internet, because it's not the, the fastest. This is kind of interesting though. I really enjoy being able to like interact with everybody. I love the way that gold just looks in there. 
Metallics are my thing. I might make two separate little cups and flip them both. See how that works. So is everybody's Monday going well? Doris, how's your Monday going? snowing over there already huh I'm not getting any of that stuff over here in North Carolina it's staying a pretty consistent 60 ish degrees which is sad but it is what it is all right so now I'm gonna put on or put in my uh, coconut oil hair serum let's see how's it right way up for you there it goes so I typically use two to three drops of this in every pour that I do And I love it. The only thing I don't like about it is the cleanup afterward. The cleanup is terrible. Hey Mel, where are you where are you from? I think I'm gonna adjust that uh, the lag and the interface so that way I can actually speak to you guys more. Hell yeah, the Daytona 500 is coming soon. Northwest Ohio. What are the temperatures like over there, Mel? All right. So we got it to a pretty good consistency now. So I'm going to do two separate little mini flip cups. We'll see how it works out. I'm going to try it without a base coat. Because I was talking to Doris the other day. Not the other day, yesterday. And I, I'm assuming some people do it without a uh, base coat at all. And I don't, I don't think I've tried it just because I've always been worried that the silicone would uh, contact the canvas and stop it from... It would stop it from sticking it would, it would make the paint repel away from the canvas but i'm gonna try it and we'll see how it works today oh hey ig fine art how you doing i'm glad all you guys came that's awesome yeah if this thing goes well and then I'm super excited for Thursday. I know I got a couple more people in here now. So Thursday at 7.30 Central Standard, Standard Time or 6.30 or rather 6.30 Central Standard Time, 7.30 Eastern Time. Uh, me and Doris are doing like a little flip cup showdown type thing just for fun to have a good time. Oh, wow. You're in Europe, IG? I miss Europe. So I just got out of the military in December. Well, I retired out of the military. So I was stationed in Italy for six years from 2011 to the end of 16. There's so many cool people over there. There's no rhyme or reason to the way I'm layering these cups. I'm just adding colors. However, I see fit for the most part. Yeah, I did. Um, myself and Doris both, we advertised on Facebook and Instagram. Trying to just, you know, get a decent showing and actually talk to the community because that's 
that's one of the things I really love about this kind of stuff is being able to interact with everybody, meet people from all over the place, kind of talk a little bit about the backstory and stuff so you guys get to know me a little bit better and then I get to know you guys a little bit better too. I'm kind of a social person that way. You know what I don't have in here? My heat gun. Oh well. All my supplies are out in the garage. Well, that's good to learn now instead of learning on Thursday. Awesome. Thanks, Mel. I appreciate that. So now we're going to do our little bit of a flip cup on here. I need to try to figure out how I'm going to do this. Because I don't have my little tool in here either. That's another thing I'll have to worry about. There we go. All right. Oh, yeah, you did? Um, you put it in your community tab, Doris? That's awesome. Yeah, as many people as we can get to come out, that'd be awesome. It'd be a lot of fun. A whole lot of fun. All right. So I'm going to flip one one way. Actually, before I flip anything, I'm going to put these gloves on so I don't get paint all over my mouse and keyboard and everything. It's really awesome to see you guys in chat. And if you haven't already done so, if you could do me a favor, just drop a like on the video if you do enjoy it. I mean, if you don't enjoy it, drop me a dislike. Either way, I like the interaction with you guys. All right, so now we're about ready. We're going to get this flip cup started. Oh, that's kind of pretty right there. Pull some off in the corners because the corners are the hardest part for me to actually get covered. Wow, I love the little gold and blue lacing in there. That's nuts. Sometimes the cups even look beautiful too. You can't really tell, can you? On the inside of the cups. All right. So now at this point, if I had my torch, I would be torching it, popping a little bit of these surface bubbles here. But note to self, have all my materials present when I stream, that way I can just grab them and go. So we're, for now, we're just gonna tilt it and see what it looks like. Try to keep as much on here as I can. Oh, that's gorgeous. I don't know how much the camera's picking up that that metallic sheen in there. Try to tilt real slow so I don't start like destroying the cell structure because now that I don't have a base coat, I don't have anything for the paint to cleanly slide across. Oh, the video stopped, didn't it? I think it did. Figures my my hands are covered in paint and the video would stop. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can get this to work again. Mm. Can you guys still hear me right now? I think you can. Let me see. No, it's not your phone. I'm, I'm working through issues with this camera right now and it's getting super annoying. But I, I think I'm gonna, I'll, be, I'll end up figuring it out before it becomes an issue.
still frozen. Some technical difficulties here. Hold on one second. <laughs> well, that's annoying. Yeah, let me try to work through this. It actually came out pretty cool. I'd like you to see it, but for some reason it's not wanting to cooperate with me. Remote shooting, live shoot. There's that. And there's one thing I could do that'll definitely get it back on the screen, but the quality on there is just terrible. I hate it. Hmm. Oh, we're back. Sweet. Still something I need to work out. Yeah, it's absolutely going to have to be worked out. So there we go. Sorry about that. Woo. Yeah, this whole streaming thing is kind of interesting to me. It'll pop up here in a second. I didn't get it back. Oh, yeah. Definitely better. Yep, here it is. It's back. So now i got to finish this uh, the pour. I need to figure out... I, I mean, I know there's one way I can do it. The resolution goes down to, like, about 720. And I feel crazy using this camera and getting 720 out of it when... I, I might as well just use a webcam, you know what I'm saying? But here we go. Let's we'll finish this flip cup and coat the sides. Yeah, it came out actually very pretty though. And if I had my torch with me, like I will on Thursday, absolutely. I would be getting more of this red cells up through the top and it would look a lot cooler. But for now, there is still some red lacing in there. It was very small uh, red cells, not anything big. You can see them kind of popping up here and there. I wonder if I can zoom any closer. But... Yep, that's it right there. I really appreciate you guys coming out. Um, if you haven't already uh, subscribed to Doris's channel, I'm gonna put a link in the description down here. And if you could go over there, just that way you'll be sure to get the notification on Thursday when we go live. So thank you very much for coming out and I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much, Doris. I just got to work out this phone deal. This phone thing is getting me. Or not phone, the, uh, where the camera just stops. But I'll get it. Thanks, Mel. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming out. It was awesome. I had a great time with you guys.